Welcome to the TriStar Software video training series. In this video, we'll discuss version 2.0 of WinServe Mobile, the smartphone app for process servers. You can download the free app using the search word WinServe Mobile, all one word, for either iPhone or Android. Once you click on the app, you'll come here to this login landing page. The first time that you sign in, you can create your profile. So we'll just hit select profile. So for every company, if you work for multiple companies that use this app, you'll be able to add a profile by adding the company name, the provided company code, the username, and the password. We'll hit add and it'll now add that profile to your app. So if you have multiple companies that you do serves for, the app will save all of those credentials so you don't have to log in using different usernames and passwords every time. So from here, we'll just go with the company name listed and hit sign in. It'll sync all that information and bring you here to the landing page. So you have your process jobs, delivery and court jobs if applicable, and jobs in queue. So to start, we'll just click on process jobs and it'll give you a uh, process order list of all the jobs that have been dispatched out to you with their addresses and work order number. If you look at the bottom right, you can see you can also select map view and it'll give you a map view of all the jobs that have been assigned to you for that day. It'll also provide your location and if you click on any of these flags, it'll show the actual address and that work order number associated with it. From here, you can use this system to punch that address into your navigation system and create a route for yourself for the day. So we'll go back to process orders and let's just look at the very first one that's been assigned to us. From here, we go to the process order detail. So you'll see here there's an address listed. There may be special instructions. You can see what the priorities are and who the survey is. And then options down here at the bottom include being able to record a diligence, creating a final status, serve with audio, meaning you can serve this job uh, by with a recording, previous diligence, so if there's any other diligence uh, associated with this order, you can look at those here, and view any PDFs that are attached to this job. So from here, let's just look at serve with audio. So in the event you were to serve with audio, you can simply click on that microphone, and when you're ready, complete the serve or enter the attempt. Let's go ahead and record a diligence. So your company that you're working for may have a list of diligence items in the drop-down menu. You're welcome to use those. If you prefer, you can freehand text your special report or diligence attempt. You can also use the microphone feature like I am here. And here's an example. Subject ran into bushes, period. Simple enough. <laughs> It'll date and time stamp when that attempt was made. And then you can also spread that record diligence across all addresses if you check this box. You can grab current GPS. So now this GPS stamp will be associated with this attempt. You can add certain attachments. So you can actually add pictures from the library. So if you have pictures you've already taken of the home or, or the location, you can take them from there, or you can simply take a picture and add it on the fly. Once you're finished, you'll hit submit. You'll receive a message that says diligence is saved successfully. Submitting diligence is a two-part process. We begin by submitting the diligence. What this does in this uh, instance is save all the diligence and all your attempt information, including pictures and GPS stamping, to the actual local device in the event that you're in an area with poor web uh, service. When you finish your work for the day and you've submitted all those jobs and saved them to your local device, it's then time to actually sync the jobs and send them to WinServe through your jobs in queue. So you can see here now the jobs in queue lists there's one job. We can look at that particular work order, make sure it's complete, and then we'll sync the data. It's going to ask you for confirmation that you want to. You hit OK, and it's now been synced successfully. 
Thank you for watching.